Good. <laughs> oh, I see. That's very funny. <laughs> What's that, Basil? <laughs> oh, dear me. That's brilliant. Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> this is one of the funniest things I've ever read. <laughs> Great. Is that today's script? What? This? No! It's Mr Stephen's diary. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's worried about the pressure of becoming an international sex symbol. <laughs> well, he can live in hope. If he thinks that, he should live in a loony bin. He already does. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! It's another sunny morning at Anil's Cafe. But where's that strange gurgling noise coming from? Could it be Stephen? No. Could it be Dave? It's not me. Could it be Basil? Not likely, Mush. Could it be Captain Farto, the incredible farting superhero? No, actually, it's my day off. <laughs> or is it Anil, the mild-mannered cafe owner? I'm having trouble with my plumbing. You want to see a doctor, mate? You can't be too careful. Uh, I went to a doctor once, you know, and he said, See? Oh. I said, Why? He said, Because my goldfish just died. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that reminds me, when I went to see the doctor, I said, Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. Oh, I know this one. And he said, pull yourself together. Uh, no. He said that I was seriously disturbed and he sent me to a psychiatrist. <laughs> anyway, I don't need a doctor. It's not my plumbing that needs fixing. It's the calves. We've got no water. <laughs> I'd give anything to get it fixed. What? Anything? Like money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. So what sort of cowboy put that lot in, then? You got a problem with the way I put the plumbing in, Cochise? <laughs> Clear off! I'm not that sort of Indian. Go on up it. I see. I see what the problem is. You've sprung a leak. Where? There! <laughs> Leak. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> yeah, 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 very funny, yeah? <laughs> boom, boom, OK? Uh, now, can you fix it or not? Of course, Anil. I'll just use one of the most complicated and secret of all plumbing techniques. What's that? Hit it with a big hammer! <laughs> <laughs> Blimey! I think you've done it. Do you want to pay cash or check? <laughs> Why, you pesky little dummy! Ah! Oh, honestly, Anil, you're such a drip sometimes. <laughs> drip. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. Oh. Hey, dear. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's with the moping? I have to do it, yeah? The floor's wet, OK? No moping? <laughs> you OK, Stephen? Fine. I was just thinking. It's incredible. Has it really been a whole year? Since last year? My birthday? Oh, for... Never mind. <laughs> wow! <laughs> What's this? Fashion Disasters <laughs> Monthly? <laughs> no. I cancelled my subscription to that ages ago. <laughs> this is my yearbook from when I went to entertainer school. <laughs> He studied to be an entertainer. Correction. <laughs> he studied to be an unemployed entertainer. Now that I'm a certain age, I thought it was time to take a trip down memory lane. <sighs> Seems like yesterday. Singing, dancing on the tables, getting off the tables because people were trying to have their dinner. <laughs> oh, those were the days.
Live forever and fly? Well, as your careers advisor, I would suggest you get a job as some sort of Nobel Prize winning scientist who's also a pilot. <laughs> The abominable light for man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't think it was possible to look both scrawny and chubby at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, that was a flashback. I'm not still meant to be in these clothes. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. There must have been a mistake. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> My pleasure, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone mind! I was trying to be depressed here and wallow in old memories. Well, you can't wallow yet, meat. I haven't hit a goo. Right, cue the flesh back. Mmm, groove <laughs> Left field, silly mid-off. Oh, that. Oh, the red duck. Uh, 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 boom, boom. I say, you're looking very ungroovy, Miss Hippo. What's the matter? Oh, Swami Basil, my fish and chips are bumming me out. Man. I like the fish. Mm. And I like the chips. Mm. But I don't like these small, brown, green things. What should I do? All I'm saying is, give peas a charm. <laughs> peas. Off again. Are you still here? Come on, Stephen. What's eating you? Oh, nothing. Just the fact that it's exactly 365 days since the day that only commemorates the day I was born. It's no big deal. Ooh. Basil, can I have a hand? Nope, but you can have a paw. <laughs> Call me oversensitive, but I've got the feeling that Stevie Boy was hinting at something. It's his birthday. He thinks everyone's forgotten. But you're only pretending? Exactly. Well, is that a nice thing to do? It's all right. I'm planning a surprise birthday party for him tonight. Can you come? <sighs> Show me a party I couldn't make. <laughs> cool. But don't tell Basil and Dave. I want it to be a surprise for them too. Now, why does that strike me as a recipe for confusion? <gasps> come on. It's not like we're in a sitcom or anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm off to buy decorations. I'm doing a space theme. Eight o'clock, all right? Cosmic. Bye, guys. Bye, Molly. Bye. So it works now, does it? Sure as my name is. <laughs> Gary? What about the hot tap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the time? Blimey. I haven't seen him move that fast since he heard there was a half-price sale at the charity shop. <laughs> hey, Baz. Hmm? Nice glue, hey, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do you for, Miss Ella? Well, it's about Stephen. Oh, has he been staring at you again? No. Well, yes, but... <laughs> ah, don't worry. I've read the script. <laughs> now, listen. I know we're all meant to have forgotten his birthday. <laughs> But I haven't. <laughs> I'm planning a surprise birthday party tonight. <laughs> and you are, of course, invited. Look, Basil, maybe you no should No time, lots to do. <laughs> Either this lot always make things so difficult. Meanwhile, back at the flat, Dave, the Del Boy trotter for the Teletubbies generation, is doing another deal. This is the lounge. Oh, oh sorry. Conference hall. <laughs> I'm going to level with you, David. I'm not convinced this is the place to host my high-profile sales conference. What, um, what facilities are we talking? Um, computer projections, video walls, uh, laser lights. Same old, same old. Tea and biscuits? What kind of biscuits? Jammy Dodgers. One with the hearts. Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're on. The Mustard and Chutney Marketing Board Sales Conference has found itself a venue. My sales team will be here tonight. In the meantime, I've left you some mustard samples. 
They'll be back later with a whole lot more. Remember to bring lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. David, if you can get her to dress up as Miss Mustard, there's another 50 in it for you. <laughs> uh, who is that, Dave? Oh, no one. <laughs> Have you seen Stephen? Yeah, spiky hair, fat face, nasty tasting shirts. <laughs> Have you seen him recently? Yeah, he's sulking in his room. Look, I think you should all stop pretending to have forgotten his birthday. But I'm not pretending. I really have forgotten his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> forgetting my birthday. I'll show them. I'll organise my own party. <laughs> yeah. Right. Where's my little black book? <laughs> <gasps> my little black beauty. <laughs> this has seen some action. <laughs> <coughs> right. Hello? Is that Trixie? <laughs> no, sorry, that's not me. You've got the wrong number. <laughs> wrong number. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> hey, Stephen. What are you doing? Close the door and I'll tell you. Yeah, I've heard that one before. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm organising a secret party. It's my birthday, you know. Yeah, happy birthday. Thanks. Everyone else has forgotten. So I'm calling up all my old mates I used to hang with at entertainer school. <laughs> well, that's great. But two things. Yeah? One, please don't say hang with. It makes you sound like the Fonz. <laughs> <laughs> and two, you sleep in a bunk bed. <laughs> well, if it was a normal bed, Basil would nick all the duvet. <laughs> my mother warned me about guys like him. Guess you see. <laughs> when me and my friends get going, it'll be the party of the decade. <laughs> yeah, but which decade? Ronnie! Hi! Long time no touch. <laughs> so that's 150 plastic pineapples, 400 coconuts. Yeah, that's right, my good man. <clears throat> Just put them down... <laughs> Anywhere. Oh, yeah. And with every 400 coconuts, you get a free one of these. Hmm. <laughs> well, aloha. <laughs> boom, boom. Basil! Oh! Good golly, Miss Molly. I haven't been that shocked since Pavarotti said no to seconds. What's going on? must be 500 coconuts here. Dad, don't be silly, Miss Molly. You're always exaggerating, you are. Uh, it's 400. Well, what are you doing with them? I'm, uh, I'm going to open one of those fairground attractions where people throw at coconuts. <laughs> oh, what do you call it? Um... Shy? Not really. I'm quite confident, actually. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing with all that tin foil? Um, I'm cooking a very big turkey for next Christmas. Right. Bye. Right, one party coming up. <laughs> you slice, I'll butter. <laughs> Fancy dress. I mean, do they wear leg warmers in space? But never mind. You better hide in here till we're ready for the surprise. But I'm just making a space rocket. And if anyone asks, you're checking the meter. <laughs> I'll get it. Hi. Crikey, you're a bit informal for a sales conference. Press down Fridays. Then. Oh, we're a bit early, yeah. Conference room isn't ready yet. You'd better wait in here. 
checking the meter. Come on in here. And if anyone asks, you want a hiking expedition and you got lost. Dip. Oh, thanks. Oh, what is that dip? Mustard. What else? It's horrible. That's your problem, love. I just worked it. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I say, you're all dressed a bit formally, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't seen this many stiffs since I visited the cemetery. Uh, is this the main arena? Main arena? What do you think this is, Mush? The set of gladiator? Now get <laughs> in there until we're ready to spring the surprise. Go on, go on. We're just checking the meter. Crikey, these electricity companies really are overstaffed. Uh, right, try over there. Go on. Oh, uh, we were on a hiking expedition and got lost. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> I've never had a liking for hiking. Oh, duck down in the kitchen, and if anyone comes, <laughs> pretend you're the um, groceries. Is this some sort of management exercise? Oh, no, they never mentioned it on the mustard and chutney training day. <laughs> I'll get it! Oh, that'll be my guests. I can't wait to see their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I hoped I'd be over the moon on my birthday, but I didn't expect this. That was rich. It's my party, and I'll pun if I want to. <clears throat> right, uh, I don't really remember you guys from my course, but hey, you must be friends of friends. The party hasn't started yet, so, uh, just, uh, waiting here. We're just checking the meter. <laughs> Uh, we got lost. <laughs> Ain't nobody here but us groceries. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the cafe, Anil seems to have sorted his plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perhaps I spoke too soon. <laughs> What surprise? I never said anything about a surprise. Neither did I. And I certainly didn't mention anything about a party either. Hi. <laughs> I was just putting this box in the attic. And I'm just leaning here against this cupboard door. <laughs> yes, and I was just waiting to spring my surprise birthday party. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I think that's settled then. None of us are doing anything. <laughs> Quite right. Oh, <laughs> Blimey, where did he come from? Hi, I miss a surprise. What surprise? Yeah, what surprise? Yeah, lots of birds, get them out the hole! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. I just get carried away, sorry. Look, has anyone seen a group businessman with loads of mustard and chutney? Why? No reason. Oh, hey! Hey! hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm relocating my business. You guys flooded my calf. So, until it's fixed, I'm setting up here. Now, all I need is some customers. <laughs> Sorry, we were losing oxygen in there. Can I interest you in some food? Perhaps a nice cheesy sandwich? Have you ever considered mustard or chutney with your cheese sandwiches? Whoops. I think I've just blown our cover. <laughs> Can someone tell me where the toilet is? <laughs> Time for re-entry, or are you about to make a splash down? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Basil, that's disgusting. Not as disgusting as if I don't find the toilet. Soon! It's over, over there. there. I think it's engaged. <laughs> engaged? I didn't even know it was dating. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Who's in there? Come out now! Are you sure about that, Mr. Stephen? All right. Uh, finish what you have to do, and then come out! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd made it. Well, we were here when you said, but she pushed us in the toilet and made us pretend to read the meter. Molly, there's no way to treat my guests. Your guests? I thought they were my guests. No, no, I'm your guests. 
Oh, hang on, I'm confused. I just knew that this was going to happen. It's a basic comic confusion plot, very much like the ones used by the ancient Greek playwright Aristophanes. Indeed, on a metaphysical, social, political, proto crypto harpo Marxist level, this script has externalised many of the Aristotelian belt and shame. Ella? Sorry, but don't mind me. Anyway, have you guys got everything sorted now? No. Yes. You might be sorted. We've got to go there, but I'm not. Quiet! Look, it's very simple. The ones in Hawaiian shirts are Basil's guests. The spacemen are Molly's. And the ones in leg warmers are Stephen's old friends from entertainer school. And, uh, who are you? We're from the Mustard and Chutney Marketing Board. Ah. Do you want to come to my party? Sure. We'll break out the chutney. Yeah! Well, now that that's all sorted, chaps, there's only one more thing left to say. What's that? Happy birthday! You yeah, fat-faced hadder. <laughs> what a nice surprise. So, perhaps you'd like to beam up and see my rocket? Yeah, right. Oh, suit yourself. <laughs> More dip. Ah, it's not mustard again, is it? No. Oh, <laughs> it's super strange mustard. <laughs> So, what have you been up to since college? Well, I did a major advertising campaign, a hit American soap opera, four feature films. I'm starting a leading role on Broadway next week. And I won an Oscar. What about you? He lives with a fox. I just wanted to say, thanks, guys. <laughs> this has been the best birthday ever. The best? Yeah. Well, I did the private childhood, didn't I? <laughs> Here, where's Anil got to? Oh, he's uh, gone back to the cafe. <laughs> he said he had an idea for a new special dish. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it still flooded? Here we go, madam. Mug of tea and a sponge cake. <laughs> Sponge cake. <laughs> Whoever wrote that joke should be hung out to dry. That was some party, eh, Mr. Stephen? <laughs> I haven't had that much fun since I worked as Elton John's wig. <laughs> and that was a hair raising job. <laughs> I say, Mr. Stephen, have you got the hiccup? Sorry, Basil. I think I drank too much <coughs> fizzy pop. Uh, try holding your breath. <coughs> OK. <gasps> uh, it's no good. Uh, what you need is a good shock. OK. You're sacked. What? There, did it. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>